So with the addition to Orisa, it's gonna come a lot of people thinking that they want to main Orisa, and that's a good thing. You should always try to broaden your horizons with heroes, whether that's in the offensive category, defensive, or just literally all the heroes across the line of Overwatch. And I want to make this video to just uh, for all those people that are trying to main Orisa, because some people will have a harder time trying to main Orisa than others, because if they spend a lot of time playing, i.e., like Soldier or Tracer, compared to like Reinhardt and Zarya, they're gonna have a much harder time trying to transition into Orisa where maybe if they watch this video maybe they wouldn't have wasted all their time because with my youtube channel i always try to help you guys out whether that's in life whether that's with girls whether that's in overwatch or call of duty whatever kind of videos i'm trying to make i just trying to make you just overall a better person and one thing i'd never want you guys to try to do is waste your time whether that's that girl in math class we all have that one girl that we don't want to waste time on or maybe just waste your time trying to main a hero and i don't want to say it's impossible for anyone to main orissa because anything is possible i want everyone just to know that notion that even if you play maybe a healer or maybe you play a soldier 76 or whatever anybody can main Orisa with time practice but some players just have a different play style than others and sometimes that play style won't meet a certain type of hero Orisa is one of those heroes that can do a lot but is for a certain type of, of players with a certain type of play style or maybe just a certain type of player that's been playing a certain hero for a long period of time in this video I just want to help everyone just to identify what kind of player you are and if it matches or Orisa because I don't want you guys trying to waste time practicing her when it comes to competitive in the week and you're not that great with her work beforehand maybe you could learn a different hero in that time to try to just increase your skills in that hero region because like I said previously Orisa isn't like these other heroes that were added into the game that only has one certain purpose like how Sombra has to go in the back and hack she can't deal a lot of damage because Orisa even though she is in the tank category she's more like a flexible tank she could either be an offensive tank or a defensive tank and whatever player is playing her is is gonna play her one certain way. A Reinhardt player is gonna transition to Orisa pretty well because she can still be used as a defensive hero but still deal out a lot of damage where beforehand Reinhardt was pretty much the only anchor hero and even in the reveal trailer for Orisa this is kind of like how she is. She's an anchor hero but can still deal out damage from afar where compared to Reinhardt they have to be up close where he can just swing his hammer trying to get a home run being like Babe Ruth or whatnot but she can also be an offensive tank like compared to maybe like D.Va that's gonna be a a bit more harder per se, but a D.Va player I think wouldn't be too hard of a transition to Orisa because she can still deal out damage with her gun. Sure it isn't the most powerful thing, but you just have to be smart with it, plus you do have protection. So it's just just knowing stuff like that, if you played a certain tank hero, you're gonna probably transition a lot more easier. But someone compared to like Soldier 76, uh, someone like Tracer, if you play those two heroes a bunch, it's gonna be a lot harder. One, because she's she has a gun that isn't hit scan, so you're gonna have to practice leading your shot, and that's gonna be a whole different video and a whole different discussion but also just knowing when to protect your team and not just go in the front lines because that's why I said previously how Ryan Harmanes are gonna see an easy transition because they know how to protect their team they know when to just put up their barrier they know when to just smack their hammer around and just do all that kind of stuff because yes Orissa she does have a gun yes Orissa can be aggressive but just knowing when to be aggressive knowing when to go in the front lines knowing when to go in the back lines knowing when to put up your shield just all that kind of stuff is where Orissa mains are really gonna shine because if you're just willy-nilly just throwing your barrier just maybe just at the choke when maybe the fire isn't coming at the choke that it's coming on the right side or the left side uh, if you're playing some certain type of map I don't know what you would be playing but just knowing where the enemy fire is and placing your barrier right there and also knowing when to use your hold so like maybe you want to use your hold ability off the edge of a cliff and then you can pull the enemy team right off the cliff and boom they're dead right there it's just stuff like that knowing the situation around you and knowing when to be aggressive but also knowing when to be not aggressive is where aristomanes are really gonna shine because it's easy just to throw their barrier around. It's easy just to throw your halt ability around. But knowing when and being smart with it, being smart with your toolkit, is where Orisa mains are gonna come out. And I didn't even get to talk about her fortify ability, which really makes her a more flexible tank. Because even though I still do see her as a more defensive tank, a good player that practices Orisa on the more offensive side will know the in and outs of Orisa and just know when to be an aggressive kill heavy Orisa. Because her fortify ability is so powerful, but you just have to know know when to push forward because it's easy for anyone it's easy just to just put on the fortify ability and just move forward and you're just a sitting duck right there but if you know when to be aggressive because the only frontline heroes that previously that would be at the front would probably just be Reinhardt soldier 76 maybe a Pharaoh or whatnot but now Orisa with that fortify ability can even go forth before the barrier if you know when to time it right because even though her gun doesn't dish out a lot of damage it deals out consistent damage someone like soldier 76 it's not the heavy 
hitting gun, but if you know how to aim for the head, if you know how to pop shots, bruh, you're gonna deal out a lot of consistent damage. Same thing with Orisa. Even though it's not the most powerful gun, if you can be aggressive with it and just know when to time everything right with the leading shots, bruh, you're gonna be getting a lot of kills. Plus, with her ultimate, I didn't even get to talk about her ultimate. Her toolkit is probably just one of the biggest variety of toolkits where you have a barrier, where you have protection, where you have a power-up ability for your ultimate. There is so much going on. Plus, her Holt ability, it's like everything just built into one. I mean, sure, she is a robot built around scrap parts, but still, that is the greatest thing about Orisa is that she can do so much, and that just makes her a flexible tank. So, with her ultimate ability, she just has to put it behind the barrier, just put it like somewhere off the side, and not only powers up you if you want to be aggressive, but just powers up the Pharah, the Soldier Center. Oh, maybe not the Pharah if they're flying high in the sky, but you know what I mean. Power up the McCree, power up the Genji, maybe even sometimes. Just heroes like that. So, you can build a team around Orisa to be more of like an aggressive offensive team because Orisa, yes, she is more like of an anchor hero, but can, she can still be offensively used, sort of like Mei in a sense. Sure, she is more defense. Sure, she is supposed to block off the choke more, but she can still be offensively used, such as myself. I always try to use Mei offensively, but no one likes to use her like that. And same thing with Orisa. The only thing that I really... Okay, so the biggest thing that people are gonna just... All people in general are gonna have to practice with Orisa is just using her gun and just leading your shots because her shots move at like a speed of... I want to say Genji stars, but I also do want to say Farah shots, but they don't deal out as much damage as those too. So if you just go into a training method, maybe an Anabot method or or some sort of way, hint, 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 and you practice your Arisa shots, I think it will help out a whole lot because she, her gun isn't like other guns, like Soldier 76 or McCree's or even Tracer's to an extent. It's not hit skin, but it just feels a whole lot different, but it is consistent. If you're able to be consistent with those shots, you're gonna deal out damage. So this is a quick little video for people that want to main Arisa. Tank players are gonna see an easy transition, but people that play more offensive hit skin people like, like Soldier 76 or Tracer are gonna see a lot harder time but someone like me who kind of plays a little bit of everything to an extent it's still gonna be hard but I can still see myself maining Orisa am I gonna do it I want to try to learn more tank heroes and this is a perfect opportunity Orisa is kind of like the jack of all trades she can protect people but can still deal out damage and I think that's the beauty of her so I want to hear you guys' thoughts and if you're gonna be remaining Orisa and if you maybe even you got the Orisa gold gun I know some people that did and I shouts out to you because she's gonna be a hard here to learn maybe maybe not so i'll see you guys i love you guys thank you guys for watching more overwatch videos to come and bye